In this video, I will explain the shutter count and how you can check it with most popular camera models. Does the shutter count really matter? Attention filmmakers, not really. There's this mystery around the shutter count and a big misconception. Firstly, what actually a shutter count is? <laughs> well, in plain English, it's a number of photos taken by the mechanical shutter of your camera. Literally, how many clicks you have made with your camera. Each camera has its own lifespan on the shutter. So let's say an entry-level camera should only be expected to reach a shutter count of around 50,000, while a mid-range camera can reach 150,000 and a professional camera should be able to reach 300,000 or even more. If you go above those figures, very likely you will need to replace the shutter. So a high shutter count usually lowers your camera value. This is in theory, as I need to emphasize this relates to a mechanical shutter only. Therefore, things are even more complicated with mirrorless cameras that have also electronic shutter. When you use the electronic shutter, it doesn't impact the number of your mechanical shutter. But the other thing is to keep in mind, because there is no mirror to flip up and down, shutter count does not matter as much on mirrorless cameras. So the thing is the shutter count indicates average but not solid use of the mirrorless cameras, which are very common those days. Apart from the mechanical shutter, other things might wear off, like buttons or materials on the body. Other thing is, if you are a videographer, you shouldn't be bothered much about the shutter count, to be honest. When buying second-hand cameras, people often ask for the shutter count. Most of mirrorless cameras do not count the electronic shutter actuations in the number presented, so figures shown are literally just for the mechanical shutter. Such number can devalue the camera, but let's face it, if someone looks after the gear, the camera has not been dropped or abused in the past, and you mainly shoot videos, get some nice price deal and don't be really bothered much about higher shutter count. Save some money. If you are still obsessed about the actual shutter count of a camera, there are a few different ways to check that out. With Canon cameras, you have to get an app. It's a real bummer because I couldn't find any free version of that. If you know any free versions, leave a comment below. Then with Nikons or Sony cameras, you literally use some websites where you upload a photo and then you can see the shutter count. Then with Panasonic's, there is a way around with a combination of clicks on the camera itself to see the actual shutter count or even a power count, which is really great. So the conclusion is mechanical shutter has its own lifespan. But instead of focusing on photos, if you are mainly a video shooter, focus on good body and not abuse cameras. I hope you have found this video useful, like it, share it and maybe consider to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that so far. Cheers!